What's up guys? All right, so you're probably wondering, is this my new intro? No, it's not, trust me, because this video is not mine. This is actually not my video. This video is actually, uh, well, you know, the March version of me. Like, four months ago, I made a video. It's It was about COVID-19 and all that stuff, but I was so busy, I didn't actually get to edit and post. Now I have a slight little bit more time on my hands and I decided I was gonna actually post this video. But I realized that based on current affairs and based on the timing that we're in, a lot has changed, you know, from that time to now. This version of me, yeah, pretty much this version of me does not have hair looking this amazing. I know, thank you guys, I know, it really looks good. Anyways, but I'm just gonna stand here and correct everything in that video that is not current. So you guys will actually be up to date, but I mean, I need to have content because hey, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> some YouTubers are now at 1,000 subscribers. But you know, I'm not gonna boast and say anything too, you know, too proud and stuff. But thank you so much, guys, you know. But this is not the official thank you video. I'm gonna make that after I get all the videos that I have sitting down waiting on you all the way. I am not gonna actually start this video like I start all my videos. So I'm gonna let this guy do it, okay? So this version of me that does not look this beautiful, I know. This version of me that does not look this handsome. <laughs> okay, okay. The version of me that's gonna come on the screen right now. Sorry, but off. The version of me without all this hair and good looks is gonna start this video and end this video. All right, so without further ado, let's begin. This is CNN Breaking News. Greetings, my name is Wes and I am coming to you live. Greetings, my name is Wes and I am forwarding to you live from New York. Update on the COVID-19 pandemic. The virus is spreading faster than the legs of a prostitute. The streets of New York are as empty as tissue aisles in every store. The need for sex during the quarantine has grown significantly over the past few weeks. And most importantly, breaking news, this just in, I am still breathtakingly amazing. More after this wonderful intro. Join the tribe. Subscribe. Click. Click. Let's go. Hey, it's where was you don't know, and I do not have corona. I think that's actually a thing now. Like people actually introduce themselves and then say I do not have corona because of, you know with the social distancing and all. Don't get me wrong, this whole corona thing is, is pretty serious. I mean you have people dying, you have people getting sick. Worse if you have some underlying conditions like asthma and all that stuff. Like bruh, if corona is this serious, it should look like I am legend. You know that movie that Will Smith starred in? This one. What the hell are you doing out here, Fred? Fred, if you're real, you better tell me right now. Damn it, Fred! I mean, we're already quarantining ourselves and self-isolating and, you know, distancing ourselves from other people. I mean, I want some, some thrill. I saw someone post a picture from, uh, from Purge. You know that movie Purge? There was a screenshot from that movie where the date for that movie was March 21st. Bruh, if Corona caused everyone to commence the purge in real life, <laughs> I'd be ready. Don't be looking at the spoon like, what, what, what you gonna do with the spoon? Bruh, have you seen John Wick kill people with a pencil? John Wick is inevitable. John Wick is impossible. John Wick is like, beyond amazing. John Wick is like Chuck Norris, but younger. John Wick is like Chuck Norris, but less beard. John Wick is like Chuck Norris, but with a pit bull. Imagine what I can do with the spoon, huh? <sighs> I personally apologize on behalf of my old self for remotely thinking I am that great. <sighs> Continue. One of the most trending topics right now during this pandemic is the fact that everyone is in quarantine. Of course, you're in quarantine and most of y'all are alone. You're alone and you have no one to actually cuddle with. No one to, you know, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So basically, everyone's at home right now, man. Y'all horny. Y'all horny as shit. Everybody is literally locked in. Can't go see Bay. Bay can't come see you. You don't want to risk catching Corona. You don't want to risk your family members catching Corona. You don't want to step outside your house and someone go, Achoo! Corona! Or, <coughs> Paris! So you gotta stay indoors and, well, if you had that free membership on. Yeah, you gotta make use of it. So ask yourself, which one's more important? The best 10 minutes of your life with that one girl or what that one guy that you been wanting to just Or catching Corona. Yeah, I see you. I know which option you chose. The option alone is making me uncomfortable. Like, nah, I gotta gotta sanitize my hands for that one. You nasty. Tan ayoya. Stay home. For your information, old West, there are more important things than COVID-19 right now. The world is rising up against police brutality and racism. People are in their numbers, in the streets, seeking justice for George Floyd and all the other black Americans who suffer from the hands of those who are appointed to serve and protect. So currently, we don't care about Corona. We really don't. We care more about justice for people. But as a fellow Jamaican, you can take away the jobs, you can take away the tissue, you can take away the walking privileges, but the one thing you can never take away from a Jamaican is a good old party. They've locked down all venues, but guess what? Online parties been the thing for weeks now. Like, literally in Jamaica, this huge party was on Twitter. Big par. We all know about it. Everyone, it was trending all over the world. All you had to do was just log into your, your Instagram or your Twitter or whatever, whatever social platform you got. And right there, right there in the palm of your hands was a whole party. It was amazing. It brought the people together and everyone enjoyed themselves. I mean, I for one, I couldn't wind any bumpers because I'm practicing social distancing. But honestly, guys, my pillow have a piece of waistline, they see, man. Ben over, you know, you see me? I'ma say when a slow wind segment reach, I'ma say, hey, come here. I'ma stop. I'ma stop. Update. Online parties are now boring. They are washed out, rinsed, dried, washed again, and dried out. No, nobody likes online parties anymore. Trust me. Thanks, COVID-19. The people miss whining on other people, man. Other people, woman. You know that thrill? Knowing that there's a slight possibility that somebody might throw a stone in their head back and bust it. Yeah, that thrill. We miss that. I mean, they miss that. Yeah. Even I was live streaming at one point. It wasn't a party, but I mean the discussions were pretty awesome. If you know what a yam head is, you know who a clown is. In Jamaica, we have some people called yam heads. And we had a couple that came on the show. I, I, I had a show on my Instagram. If you're not following me, follow me right now at hits underscore west. I had some guests, some yam heads. They spoke about their yam head encounters. Hmm, trust me. You do not want to be a yam head. If you or someone you know is suffering from yam headism, just tune into my life. We'll teach you how to identify if you are a yam head and how to overcome it. Because you are worth more than just being taken for an idiot. So tune in on the next live, you don't know, on hits underscore Wes. You don't know the thing said. Yeah. It's moving on from Jamaica because Jamaica is pretty fine right now, like literally. The Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Holness, the most honorable bro god himself, literally, he's doing an amazing job. Oh, Mr. Holness, bro god, most honorable bro god, yes sir, you, yeah, if you're watching this by any chance, big up yourself. You yeah, do a fantastic job. You don't know the thing set. Yeah, man. Look like Trump I learned from you in a sir. You don't know. As you may know, I am in New York. I'm not in Jamaica at all. So if you do not know this, clearly, you're not following my Instagram or my Snapchat. If you're not on my Snapchat or my Instagram, please. Follow me. Yes, I follow back. Follow my Snapchat. My Snapchat is rather lit. Trust me. And also, when you do follow me, swipe up for premiums. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not. But anyways, literally the streets are 
empty. The only persons that are working right now are essential workers. If they stop working, the world will stop revolving, trust me. And you know, you know who's actually saying that they should be still working too? Just guess. I'll give you a hint. Why do you want to be considered an essential service at this time? I mean, as we all know that sex work is one of the oldest profession in, in, in the world. And with us being sex work activists, we consider this work, uh, which is providing for families and for, for the workers. So for us at this point, sex workers are the hardest hit at this point because of the, 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 the nature of the work they do. It requires physical contact. So we're saying to the government, while you're looking at assisting and aiding other workers, um, during this time, also think of sex workers who are also hardest hit, who also are losing income due to this pandemic. Yup, they are essential workers too, right? Yeah, of course. If you think they're essential workers, let me know in the comment section. I, I, I want to know. I want to know if you think that these sex workers are actually essential to the economy. You feel me? They, they, they got to make that sh money too. I feel you. But come on, let's start a discussion right now. Do you think that these essential workers should be allowed to go back on the street? These ladies and even men put their lives on the line just to please your husband. Oh, I should not have said that. Can, can we cut that out, please? Yes, I'm, I'd, I'd like that. Let me know in the comments. Should they be working or not? Boom, so I'm not as lucky as some of you guys to literally be at home right now watching this awesome vlog and not being at work. Because I am an essential worker. Yes, no, I'm not a sex worker. No, mm-mm, nah, mm, not, maybe not yet. But I'm not a sex worker. I'm an essential worker. My job said I gotta be at work every day. Yeah, I can't go anywhere. I had a risk of my life to go to work every single day for these awesome kids. Yes, I work with kids with autism, so I really really cannot stay home because they won't get the care they need. And I'm okay with that, right? I, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't mind at all. What, what, what got me? <laughs> what got me about this beautiful country, <laughs> the United States of America, is, is the people. <laughs> you got, you got, you, you guys crack me up. You you have a whole virus going on right now, and and, and y'all worrying about spring break. <laughs> if I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna let it stop me from partying. You know, I've been waiting. We've been waiting for Miami spring break for a while. About two months, we've had this trip planned. It's really messing. Me. I think they're blowing it way out of proportion. I think it's doing way too much. Doing us bad. We need a refund. This virus ain't that serious. It's serious. It's more serious things out there like hunger and poverty, and we need to address that. We're just living for the moment. Kind of disappointing, but we're just making the most of it. We met these other people in our little Airbnb spot, so we're just hanging out with them and trying to get drunk before everything closes. <laughs> Not that friend that be like, oh, you want to come over and chill? And quarantine and chill? No! Quarantine and chill with this friend. This one can save your life. Get one today. Anyways, you don't know them time there. Why am I doing that? I should be distancing myself from you. What? No, I'm sorry. I've been up in your face a lot. Don't worry, I don't got corona. But I should be socially distancing myself. I need to be this far from you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding guys. I'm just kidding. Anyway, so you don't know say yo I didn't time day, is it me? So check it guys. Honestly guys, honestly speaking, this corona thing is pretty serious. Alright? So everybody tell you, stay indoors. Just 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 keep sanitizing yourself guys. You can catch corona faster than you catch feelings. Trust me. And some of y'all yam heads out there, y'all catching feelings like real quick. Boom, cause of that good deal. <sighs> YouTube monetization, I see you. I see you, I see you looking, yeah. But anyways, guys, take care of yourself. If you stay inside, you reduce the cases. Trust me. Nobody care about Corona anymore. Fam, end the video. <sighs> you all right? Yeah? That's... Being in quarantine, I don't have that much space to run, all right? So I'm just gonna run from here. It's your boy Wes, 
sanitize. I said yourself. Boom. Join the tribe. Subscribe. Click. Click. Let's go.